first discovered blackouts when they were still in uh, prototype form. They sent me some to try out and, uh, and basically just give an opinion on where, uh, what I thought about them and, you know, kind of one of those things where you know, manufacturers work with artists trying to kind of just see where they're at. And, uh, yeah, so as soon as they had a working set they could send me, I, I got some. They're extremely quiet, they're extremely clean, uh, they have a lot more tone than you know, your typical active pickup uh, in terms of sounding more real, it sounds more like a real pickup. Um, harmonics are richer, it's, uh, it's a bigger sound across a wider range of, of frequencies really. The signature pickup thing kind of came about when I was just asking them if, uh, you know, if it would be possible for me to tweak a pickup a little bit just to, uh, you know, to fine tune it with my rig, with the way I, uh, with the way I run everything. You know, I mean, the combination of wood and you know, selection of power tubes, I mean, everything contributes to the way your guitar sounds and you know, our tuning, string gauges, things like that. So they started playing around with some different uh, windings for me. and. Uh, sent out a couple different types and uh, we went from there with, with tweaking it. You know, so it was a kind of like a culmination of several months of uh, playing live shows on them. You know, also working at home, you know, recording stuff. Um, every pickup sounds radically different, every guitar sounds radically different in the studio. You know, like one of the bigger things you can do is change your guitar without even touching your amp and it'll have a radically different sound in the studio. So uh, it was cool to be able to AB with the, the original blackouts which uh, are great on their own and they'll work with you know pretty much anything. So all my pickups, they just, I had them uh, tighten up the bottom a little bit because being tuned low like we are, uh, you don't need like a lot of woof, you don't need uh, you know, that low end size. I prefer articulation you know, on, the lower, on the lower end just to keep things tight. Uh, I had the top end adjusted a little bit for a little bit more cut without being harsh or uh, you know, scratchy. So that was kind of my thing with that. I would like to thank Seymour Duncan uh, and everybody there for uh, helping me achieve the sound that I wanted to get. Uh, like I said, is my pickup suits my rig and, and what I do you know, musically very well, but it also carries over to other types of music. Uh, you don't have to just play tight, fast, you know, aggressive kind of stuff. Uh, it's a great pickup for anything, so uh, you should check it out.